So here we go, guys. Blinkers, e brakes on. Brakes on. Got to put the old cones on, man. <sighs> GoPro's kind of heavy on the hat, but it is what it is. There we go. I'll tighten it a little bit. There we go. Oh, yeah. Unload this biatch. Spreader. Small aerator. Big aerator. I'm going to use the big guy on this one. I, I don't like using the small one because the small one's just, eh. It's too small and it's just like too weird. This fucking ratchet trap's shitty. So I got my boots on. Don't really, don't really like wearing my boots. Like, yo, I don't wear. The only time I wear my boots is when, see, like, yeah, my boots are all fucked up, dude. You know, it got wet one day. Like, yo, my boots are waterproof, but the insides got wet because it was raining like a crazy mofo, and we work in the rain, so it's like it just fucking like you know, got screwed up, man. But uh, they're not that uncomfortable. It's supposed to be like these big guys coming from corporate or whatever, and they're supposed to come out and check like two random people stops today. They want to make sure you're doing the cones right, and they want to make sure you're strapping all your stuff and all that good stuff. So we got my spread. Hey, look at that. We actually got seed in our spreader. Dude. That's, that's pretty cool. So they want us parking on they want us parking in front of the customer's house but like on that side but it's just like you know trying to load these things up a hill when your trailer is like vertical like that it's hard you know it's so much easier when you're on like a downgrade like this you know But this is the property we're doing. We're just doing the front. So like from right here. For the whole front. You know what I mean? Pretty easy. It's actually super easy. Holy crap. Got one little curve there. Which is easy. And then yeah. But yeah. When it's easy. You know what happens? The machine fucks up. That's what happens every time. Let me just throw my wallet in here because it's just added weight, dude. You know, you gotta gotta do the weight reduction, you know. Gotta put the uh, the old wallet in here. Gotta put the phone right here. Gotta do that weight reduction, right? Just so like, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> so as you can see, this thing is just a fucking shit show. I'm waiting for this handle to break, dude. Like, look at that. It is fucking completely bent, dude. It's broken and it's bent, dude. We'll see if the old girl wants to uh, start up today, you know?
do all the outsides first. Like I make an outline and then I fill it in. It makes it easier, I guess. Still not really awake yet, so that sucks. in the machine like that because it rips up the fucking ground sometimes but uh you know it's easier Was the warm-up for the day say I'm pretty warmed up so that side's done I aerated that side and uh, yeah I just got to put the grass seed down which takes a minute dude it's so sick how easy it is if you guys are wondering what I'm doing or what this machine is doing it's shoving these freaking spikes into the ground the, the machine weighs 300 pounds that's why this job kind of sucks a little bit because that thing weighs a lot man you see me turning the machine yeah that shit's not fun dude that shit sucks but yeah it brings up these little cores and um basically the ground gets really compacted and this thing brings up the cores it brings up uh you know puts holes in the ground that way you know moisture water could get into the ground more air could get into the ground which will help the grass grow better and then we throw seed on top of it to kind of like make the grass thicker so that's basically what this process is. But I just have to do this last side part up until the end of the brick is where I'm going because they just said the end of the driveway, so. Ah, it's gonna start raining today, I know it, dude. This looks like shit out, man. In that case, I won't be filming with the GoPro. I'll probably only film like once, because like once I do it once, I mean, it's pretty much, you know, that's what I do for, that's what I do with my life after I film it once, you know? doing the machine when I'm doing the edges around anything sketchy dude like I, I idle the machine as low as I could go without stalling it so I don't break anything like that shit yeah that's what you don't want to do <laughs> Good job, my buddy. Ugh. This thing likes to give me an attitude in the morning during the first start. Not today, man. <laughs> oh, damn.
take my gloves off after I'm done aerating because I don't really like wearing gloves. It's just like, you know, it's just like a, a fucking cup of sweat, dude. It sucks. I know you guys are probably dying to see me throw some grass seed on this grass, but uh, we're trying to, uh, I usually always strap these two machines when I'm done. That way I just get it done, you know. So I hate strapping and unstrapping this shit fucking 80 times a day. Nah, it's more like, you know, 14, 14 to 20 times a day. Still equally shitty. basically how I strap them because uh, like this this isn't as long as I wish it was so I could go to right there but you know it still works should I do this the right way or should I just do it my way you know we'll do it the right way so this is the guard you put it down the seed doesn't shoot that way there's a hole under here gotta close it puts less seed out you know that way it doesn't go to the right <clears throat> and that's just like the edge guard usually this thing has a uh, attitude in the beginning with actually working yo oh it's going good so we're just edging everything Don't want to get seed on the sidewalk. You don't want to get seed in mulch beds. Because if you get seed in mulch beds and it decides to grow in the mulch bed, people will call and complain. You have to come out and literally like pull the grass from their mulch bed. So that's not something I want to do with my day. Fucked up right there. So yeah. I did the edges of everything over there. I should have just completed everything so you don't forget, but you know, that's what it is. Ah, oh, man. So yeah, you see what I mean? Seating is so much easier because I only had to do two passes there. I had to do like six or seven passes with the aerator. So I love seeding, dude. After you finish the aeration and you just seed and dude, it's amazing. I love that shit. So the real metrics are you're supposed to walk 2.8 miles per hour and uh, you're supposed to be four feet away from your last run that you've done with the spreader. And it's supposed to put down 3.3 pounds per thousand square feet. Um, I do a lot more than that though because so I have an extra half bag of seed on my truck and uh, you know, just more seeds better, you know. Uh, I don't know, that's, that's how I think of it. I just put more seed down there. So what I've done right there was 2,000 square feet. By that metric, I'm supposed to put down 6.6 .6 pounds of grass seed. I'd say I put down at least 10 pounds. Actually, I would say 10 pounds maximum, actually. You know, it's not like I'm putting down a whole bag on 2,000 square feet. I'm doing one-sixth of a bag, you know? 
I just like to put more grass seed down, you know. These are my customers. I don't want to I don't want to have them calling me that they don't see any grass seed on the ground and they want me to come out and do it again, you know. Cuz when that happens, yo, like today I have seven jobs, seven houses I have to go to. If a customer calls up and complains, it's called like an XTR and then I have to go out and do those houses too on top of my jobs. Like they don't count that as a job for the day. So if I had to go out and fix something that I didn't do or messed up on, that'd be an extra job I'd have to do for the day. And you know, like today, dude, I'm gonna get out early. I'm still gonna work nine hours, but I'm not gonna work 11 hours today because I don't have that much to do. That's assuming nothing breaks or uh, messes up. I mean, if change, you know, these machines common that chains slip off and belts slip off, but you know, that's like a 10 minute fix. All right, guys, I'm gonna do this for you guys. I mean, I always do this. I mean, only one time have I started this thing first try, first pull, the first time I used it at the start of a day, so. We're gonna try to do it for you guys. I'm gonna fail. See now sometimes you got a full choke, it's sometimes like just a little bit less than that. Here we go. One pull, one start. Ah. Oh. Second pull. favorite part of the job is hearing that little two-stroke going man <laughs> all right bros well that was a full job right there but like i said man don't really like this job much uh just too many hours dude just way too many hours i'm doing like 70 hours this week and it's just like i just don't want to do that many dude but next week is going to be back to normal it's only going to be 55 hours but still it sucks you know and yeah this is what i do with my life right now currently but yeah, I'm just gonna work this job like a few more months. And then uh, after that, man, I, I don't think I'm gonna be coming back really. Not really sure though. It's just like, yo, I just wanna, I just want like a nine to five, bro. I just wanna work 40 hours a week and make like 400 bucks a week or something like that. And like, you know, I would be content with that cause then I would have enough time to actually do something with my life, you know? And you know, for working 70 hours, a week I'm not making what I would want to make in order to work 70 hours a week you know what I mean it's just like I'm not making the amount that I would want to make if you know I was gonna waste my life like this but you know it is what it is I just want a 40 hour job man that would be nice 40 hours a week oh my lord that would be so sick oh my god I wonder what an eight hour shift feels I wonder what I, I really wonder what it's like to work an eight hour shift because it's been a while man Peace out, my bros. I hope you enjoyed this at work thing that I did. Peace out.